Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. Big news today, Ford has released information on the 2023 Ford Maverick Tremor off-road package. Higher, more stuff, more bits, more visuals. We're gonna do a deep dive right now and tell you what it's all about. For 2023, the breakout success Ford Maverick rolls into its second year mostly unchanged, but the big news is the addition of the new elevated off-road tremor package that takes it up a couple of notches in capability as well as appearance. The tremor package will be available as an add-on exclusively for the 2.0-liter EcoBoost all-wheel drive Mavericks on XLT and Lariat trim grades. Like the Tremor package rolled out for the Ranger, F-150, and F-250, you get a full docket of upgrades interior, exterior, as well as mechanical. To the visuals, Tremor means orange graphics and accents. To that, the Maverick Tremor gets a unique grille insert and orange tow hooks. The side fender vent elements get orange letter graphics and there are orange highlighted Tremor graphic emblems at the rear sides and at the tailgate. Headlights and taillights are blacked out, as well as the Ford Oval logos front and rear. Special 17-inch alloy wheels feature an orange one-pocket highlight and come mounted with upgraded Falcon Wild Peak 23565 all-terrain tires. Aside finishes and graphics, the most notable visual upgrade is the revised front fascia reshaped for a better approach angle off-road. Approach angle improves from 21.6 to 30.7 degrees. Departure angle is now 22.2 degrees, up one. Breakover angle improves almost two degrees, now 19.9. Best of all, ground clearance is up nearly one inch at 9.4 inches. Contributing to all of that, Tremor is based on the slate of hardware upgrades of the FX4 package, but features a one inch suspension lift at the front and almost that at the rear. As a result, the stance overall is taller, but more leveled out than the FX4. The hardware upgrades are the top-end off-road bits and pieces brought over from the Bronco Sport Badlands. These include first a healthy aluminum skid plate underneath the front end to protect the engine and transmission. Upgraded axle hash shafts are brought over as well. Most notable is the upgraded twin clutch rear differential unit that can divert nearly 100% of rear axle torque to either the right or left wheel if and when the other has no traction. The all-wheel drive system also features an exclusive manual lock setting that can give you a dedicated 50-50 torque split to both the front and rear axles on demand. On all other Maverick all-wheel drive models, you have to depend on the computer to make that decision. You cannot. The console switches are different than the standard all-wheel drive Mavericks as a result, showing the locks for the all-wheel drive system and the rear axle. While the system is mechanically identical to that of the Bronco Badlands, the drive modes are pared down to a simplified set of five for pavement, mud, sand or snow, and towing. New to the Tremor, however, is trail control, which is a slow-speed cruise control of sorts for off-roading that allows you to concentrate on steering your line through the muck and rocks. The computer orchestrates throttle braking and traction control at the individual wheel level, which is more granular than even the best of drivers can articulate. Translation? It's actually a tool to aid even the best of drivers, not a crutch for novices. To keep it all working well, it has a heavy-duty transmission cooler and cooling for the drive units as well. Tow rating for the Maverick Tremor is the standard 2,000 pounds. The 4K tow package is not available with Tremor. Also, payload is 1,200 pounds, notably down 300 pounds from the all-wheel drive EcoBoost models. For 2023, the Navy Pier interior background theme continues for all Maverick models. The Tremor is essentially trimmed out just like an XL with its stone gray door inserts and dash applique, along with black vents and console insert. Upgraded, however, is the digital instrument cluster with 6.5 inch center screen and leather wrap steering wheel. Vinyl seat trim is black onyx in color with orange accents and embroidered Tremor logos. There is an additional upgrade that you can select to make it even more extra. The Tremor appearance package brings a carbonized gray painted roof center panel and mirror skull caps, in addition to more prominent black graphics on the hood, the sides, and the lower body. Adding the Tremor off-road package to your XLT or Lariat all-wheel drive EcoBoost Maverick will cost you $2,995, and the Tremor appearance package is an additional $1,495. At least two new colors have been added for 2023, including avalanche gray shown here, in addition to atlas blue. 
Order banks for the 2023 Ford Maverick models, including the hybrid, the EcoBoost, and the Tremor, open in mid-September as Ford scrambles to finish as many of the 2022 model year orders as they can. Production of the 2023 Ford Maverick begins in late October, with first deliveries arriving perhaps just before the first of the year. I gotta tell you, I am very excited about this. I cannot wait for a test drive, which should come sometime later this year or early next at the latest. And believe me, when we get our hands on one, we're going off-roading. We're going to test all of its traction toys and capabilities because it's got a lot. And so it ought to be pretty fun. Now, if you believe anything that I've told you in this video, believe this. If you want one, you must order it. You will not find this thing sitting around at a dealership any more than you've seen 2022 models of any stripe. 2022 ordering was shut off in April well before the end of the model year. And believe me, this will sell out. The Tremor will sell out. The Hybrid will sell out. EcoBoost will sell out. They only have so much production capacity. And if you want one, you must order it, period. If you find one on a dealership lot, it's because somebody ordered one and then they didn't buy it. And then the dealer's gonna be charging big markups. So don't be that person, right? Order yours, be prepared to wait. It takes a long time. But as someone who's ordered one myself, it took six months, um, it was worth the wait. And to that, we've got a ton of Maverick content. You can see our playlist right there. We've got test drives, test drive updates, technical stuff, mods, a lot of stuff for you to see. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel right there and stay notified of all of our latest Maverick news. Either way, stay tuned.